Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this video we're going to go over generating a quick uh, urban site site model uh, using random heights for uh, extruding curves to random heights uh, using a strict domain and range. So here's um, a large site model. These red units are kind of small summer homes that people could rent this lot and create themselves. So they're all pretty small. I've drawn out the, uh, the outline of them using a satellite photograph and um, they're all kind of small square uh, rectangular units. And I know that they're all pretty short, but um, I don't want them to be all the same, the same height. So I want to extrude them all, but within uh, two meters for the smallest one and then five meters for the tallest one. So I've already drawn these out. This is the, the legwork of actually tracing all of them. Um, I'm going to use Grasshopper to extrude them now and then get this uh, variety going. So open up Grasshopper and here are the uh, inputs that we want to use for this one. The base plan curves, which is just a curve that I, I'll uh, set multiple curves now. So my objects here they are for space and they're in. The number of variations, uh, 122 I've set because I have 122 of these uh, curves. Yours can be fewer or larger depending on what you're using. Uh, it's not critical. It's just the variety that you're going to have. And then the, the key to honing these in to the certain height is the lowest value and highest value. These are just number sliders that I've renamed. And I'm going to say the lowest value is 2 meters and then 5 meters for the highest. So these curves I'm just going to extrude. Go up to surface, freeform, extrude. And then B, the base geometry, are my curves. And then D, the direction, vector, go to Z vector, and put that in. Automatically this is 1. I can set this to anything by default and I've set to 12 and here we go these are all my buildings I'm gonna just double click and find the cap holes function connect that and now they're all capped and I can bake them in their just rectangular prism boxes so it's great except they aren't 12 meters and I don't want them all to be the same because that looks pretty pretty fake and pretty boring. Um, I'm going to take the uh, extrusion distance, the z value, the z vector value, and create 122 variations in between 2 meters and 5 meters. So for this I'm going to use, go up to sets and sequence, use random, it's down at the bottom. Um, a few different options. R is the domain of the random numeric range. N is the number of random values. S is the seed of the random number generator. And uh, this last one, I, is do you want it to only be integers or do you want there to be floating points as well? So uh, false is good for me. I uh, could use you know some, some more variation and have uh, floating integers. Uh, S, we'll leave it random seed number two, that's fine. And then N, number of random values are going to be 122. Go ahead and connect that now. And uh, I want to set a specific range. So here's my domain, that top one. I'll go up to math and go down to domain and just find the basic domain. It's A, B. And I can connect 2 to A, 5 to B, and now I have my min and max. Connect that up to range, and that should do it. So if I go down here and check out some of them, you can see a little bit more variety. Uh, some are taller, some are higher. This isn't uh, exact, exact science. I don't... Uh, really care the exact values for the heights for these uh, 
little masses. I just want them to be there to give me that texture for the site analysis and uh, eventually rendering maybe. So go back to Grasshopper and uh, here's my random heights cap and I can just go ahead and bake that and there we go. A quick and easy setup for uh, strict random heights in Grasshopper.